AG Squad. Welcome back to my soda of Ears and Warfin. So in this episode, we got this cool abyss around here. And basically what this is, is a foot spa. And we see on side right here, they do probably got some specs and features on here. But right here in the bottom is basically what the pot looks like when you guys do set it up. And for the one that we got right here from this brand. So first, I'm actually open this up to show you guys what the pot looks like first. All right. So when you guys first open up, and we see inside we do have the bottom. But let's take everything out first. So first thing inside right here, we see we do have a user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. And next up right here, they do probably got remote control that you can use to control it. So that way you guys don't have to reach down to the actual first spot to actually use it. So you see this is everything that's on the remote. But last but not least, we do have the actual part right here. So let's take out the wrapper first. Alright, so once you guys take it out, here is basically what the part looks like. So in the front part right here, we do have the display screen. And you probably want to peel off this part right here first. Once you guys peel it out, here is basically what the display screen looks like. So there's mode 1, mode 2, mode 3, mode 4. And we have all these other options available as well. And then for this part right here, you do have the option to take it out. Because it's basically like a covered option. And if you guys notice for the product, it is like a collapsible design. So you do have the option to push it out. And right here in the bottom, we do have the plug. So you basically want to plug it in to activate right here. And if you guys can see throughout the pot on the bottom, they do have like the non-slip material. So that way, once you guys put on a flat surface, it shouldn't move too much. And then for the top part right here, you can see we do have a handle for you to carry around really easily as well. So let's fully open it to show you guys what the product looks like. All right, so once you guys fully open it, here is basically what the product looks like on the bottom and the side. And here is basically what the inside looks like once you guys do set it up. So what you guys want to do is open up this part right here inside to hold it in place on the side. Same thing for this side. And then once you guys do that, and you see inside right here, we do have a bunch of these massage options. So I'm assuming that will help you guys kind of clean your feet and also give you guys that massage feeling as well. But you see in the middle right here, we do have the red light option. So for me, I never used a first spot before, so this will be my first time using it. But I'm assuming all you need to do is put some water inside, plug in the cable, and then turn it on. And when you guys do use the product, you definitely want to be careful and try not to push the side down, so there is a collapsible design. But having that collapsible design is actually pretty cool, so that way you can save a lot of space. And that way, once you guys are done using the product, you can just put it away really easily. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Let me actually bring this over to a different room, and we'll fill some water inside and test it out to show you guys how it works and where she works first, and then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. All right, so right here we do have the product. First thing I want to do is add some water inside, and then we'll plug it in to show you guys how it works. You basically want to just fill it up to wherever you guys want to put your feet. So that way I can get a pretty good coverage and give you guys that massage and everything else. So I'm gonna let this fill up first, and then we'll show you guys what the product looks like when you guys do plug it in and start using it. All right, so once you guys got the water inside, and once you guys plug in the cable, here is basically what the screen looks like. So when you guys are ready to use it, you basically can press on the button right here, or you can also use the remote control. So for now, let's just press the button right here to turn it on. So once you guys turn it on, you can see it starts kind of like bubbling, and you do see like the red light. So you see right here, it does show you guys the heating option is on, red light is on, bubble option is on, and it's currently on mode one. So if you guys want to change the different mode, you can press on this button right here. And that will adjust like the different mode, but also the temperature setting. So this is 42, this is 40, 43, and 45, and it's calculated by Celsius. And I'm assuming for this number right here, it's basically like the heating option. So right now it's at 23.4 Celsius. And here is basically what the pot looks like when you guys do use it. So I'm assuming what you guys want to do is put your feet inside right here and start kind of rolling on it. Because I don't really see the bottom part really moving. So if I do put my hand inside, let's see how it feels. So right now it's still kind of like cold. It's not warm or not hot yet. So it might take some time for it to kind of heat up. Let's try some of these other modes. So let's press on this button. That will turn off the red light. Press on again. That will turn it back on. Right here we do have time option. So one hour is the maximum. And 10 minutes is the minimum. And if you guys press right here, that will turn off the bubbling and the heating option. If you guys press on again, that will turn it back on. And if you guys want to increase the lower temperature, you basically want to press on this button right here. So it looks like the maximum is 48. And the minimum is 35. So very easy and very simple to use it. But pretty much once it finished heating up, then you put your feet inside and start using it. So I'm let this kind of heat up first and then we'll put our feet inside to test it out to see how it feels. But if you guys also but also if you guys notice when you guys do use the product, it is pretty quiet. It's not loud at all, which is pretty nice as well. 
But like I mentioned, if you guys want to use remote control, feel free to do so. But you do need to peel off the slip in the bottom for it to use it. But everything on here is basically the same. But let's just wait for this to heat up first and we'll test it out to see how it feels. Alright, so we got the product all set up. And right now it's at 39.6 degrees Celsius. So put it inside to show you guys what it looks like and describe to you guys how it feels. Alright, so once we put it on, it definitely feels pretty warm. And when you guys put your feet in here, if it's too hot, you do have the option to lower like the temperature on here if you guys do want to. So just like this. And when you guys use it, you guys can just leave it inside right here. Or you guys can just roll it back and forth like this. So that way you can kind of get like a massage when you guys do use it. I do want to mention that when you guys do use the product, you don't want to go too aggressive. Otherwise, you'll splash the water out. And also, when you guys use the product, you do not want to use it while you guys are standing. You guys want to use it while you are sitting like this. But definitely when you guys use the product, it actually feels pretty nice. You do get like that warm feeling in here, but you guys also get that manual massage option. So I can totally see myself using this a lot after like a long day of work or even going for a run. I can just have this all set up and just put my feet inside right here and just kind of relax. It's definitely a very nice kind of feeling when you guys do use it. So here is basically another point of view of what the product looks like when you guys do set it up. And then once you guys are done, you can definitely press on the off button to turn it off. Or you can also use the remote control to turn it off as well. But very easy and very simple to use it. And you can see it definitely does work. Alright, welcome back guys. So next I'll quick test the pot and definitely see actually does work and should work quite well. So like I mentioned for this product, I never used like a first bot before and this is my first time. And after using the product, I do have to say that it is a pretty awesome experience. So that way not only does it help you guys clean your feet, but it also gives you guys that kind of relaxing kind of feeling. And that way it can help you guys relieve some stress as well. But you see the whole setup process and everything didn't take that long. It's actually pretty easy and very simple. And when you guys do use the product, it actually works pretty well. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now that we can unboxing and test the product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality foot massager or foot spa that works the same way as this one right here. Then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.